Today's devotional, we are in Psalm 16. And I love the book of Psalms so much. In fact, I think I've done one or two devotionals from Psalms because so many of the Psalms just really speak to us as humans, speak to our human emotions. There's Psalms of great joy. There's Psalms of great sadness. There's angry Psalms. And I just love it how, how God in the Bible wants to hear all of our emotions. He's not afraid of them and he can handle them. And so in today's Psalm, we're gonna talk about a Psalm that David wrote. And David has written many of the Psalms. And so he is really like the, the Chris Tomlin of his day, if you will. He is the worship leader, the songwriter of his day. Of course, he was also king and accomplished many things. But here in the Psalms, he is one of the main songwriters. And so in Psalm 16, he says this, Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. He says, I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. He comes on down in verse five and it says this, Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. And then I love this verse. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord and with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices and my body also will rest secure. It's such a beautiful Psalm. And I encourage you just to read the whole Psalm. But in these few short moments, I just wanted to highlight one or two things here. First of all, David talks about how the Lord, that he alone is his portion and his cup. And in the verses previous, it talks about how the people of that day and the people of today run after many, many other gods. But David says, no, you are my God. You alone are my provision. You give me what I need and it is good. And then he says, I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night, my heart instructs me. Now, I really love this verse because there's many times when I go to bed and I might have like a really a, a problem or I've got a question and I'll ask the Lord and uh, I'll ask him for help. And during the night, I believe he works on our hearts. It says here, even at night, my heart instructs me. And I believe that, that while we sleep, that God does do sometimes some great wonders. And I many times I've woken up and in the morning, I know the answer to my problem. I know the answer to my question. And then I love it when science catches up with the Bible because in science, it talks about how when we sleep at night, our brain starts to piece together the day and it starts to make it whole. And I just think that is exactly what is talked about here, that even at night, my heart instructs me. So while we are resting, things are being figured out, things are being worked out. And then he says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord and with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. There's such a confidence here in this Psalm. And there's many other Psalms of David where there's a little bit of wavering, but then he'll come back and he'll remind himself of who God is. And I think that's the biggest thing for us. When we feel anxious, when we feel afraid, that is typically what we focus on. And as we focus on it, the anxiety and fear only grows. But here, David says, I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. And you know what's interesting about fear or anxiety is sometimes, not always, but sometimes we get anxious over kind of small, insignificant things. And sometimes when that happens to me, I get anxious over the fact that I am anxious about something that is small and insignificant. Like I know already, this is, this is nothing to be that worried about. And yet I cannot help but feel a bit anxious about this. And because I know it's silly, it makes me more anxious because I know I shouldn't be so anxious about that. So what I need to do is I just sort of take a deep breath and I just start talking to God and I just start focusing on God and I tell God my issue, God my problem, God my fear, but then I just remind myself of who God is and then I start to change my focus from fear to faith. And then as I do that, my fear lessens and my faith grows. And so today, I pray that we would be able to keep our eyes on God, that we would lessen our focus on things that are 
fear-based and that instead we would choose to focus on God that our faith might increase knowing that he is with us and that he counsels us and even at night instructs us let me pray for us God, I thank you so much for the Psalms. They are such an incredible book. And I'm so grateful that we can see the prayers and the songs of our forefathers. And so as their faith spills out onto those pages, our faith might also increase. I thank you so much for that. And I thank you, God, for who you are. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you. May you be our cup and our portion today and every day. In Jesus' name, amen.